we go. This is what we set out for before we got distracted by the buffalo on a termite mound. Elaine, and to all of our other elephant lovers, this is a sighting for you. And it's actually spectacular. Of course, I can't see in Maggie what you are looking at in terms of lighting, but from my perspective, it is absolutely beautiful. Just these enormous grey shapes hidden in the bright, bright green of the spike thorn thicket and is just absolutely stunning. That's one of my favourite places to see elephants in sitting in river systems like this. What do you think, the girl? Hmm? It's okay. It's okay. You can come across if you want. I'm doing some serious thinking there. Twisting her trunk a little bit, just sniffing the air. Oh, cute! That's, is this why she's so nervous? Oh no, it's the little wrinkly forehead one. It's Benjamin Button. Ah, oh, I'm so glad we got to see this little thing. Hello, hello. Alright, big girl. Sorry, sorry. We don't mean any harm to your little, your little baby. Oh, hello. Oh, speed wobble. Oh, goodness. Hey, big girl. Hi. Your baby's beautiful. Your baby is beautiful. Even if it has got a wrinkly forehead. Hey, baby. <laughs> the, the baby that um, that is only just a couple of weeks, if that, old. Um, that Brent named something ridiculous like old before his time and one of the other viewers had a much better idea and called it Benjamin Button just because of its wrinkly forehead oh hello oh we're surrounded by them sorry I know that this is really awkward for genre here very difficult position hello big girl hi your baby is absolutely gorgeous and I understand that you're feeling very protective because you're a young mom youngish mom and this little baby is absolutely minute. It's the wrinkliest baby elephant I ever did see. I know you can't see it at the moment because it's hiding behind mom. But it really is the wrinkliest baby elephant I have ever seen. It's incredible. Hello, Benjamin. Hiding behind mommy there. We don't see you, but we will in a moment. Poor Jandre attempting to... <laughs> Hello, big girl. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Dear Jandre says, no, sorry. Okay. Sorry, Jandre. That elephant chose the worst possible position to walk behind in terms of our abilities on the Mahindra. I just want to watch where she's gone. I can't see either, so, you know. Maggie maybe doesn't make for the best visibility in the world. Where has she gone? I can't see her at all. Okay, she's on your side, okay. I prefer to be able to see what the elephants are doing around me, particularly new mums. Not that she's in any way stressed out. Is she far enough away? Perfect, thank you. Jandre says we can reposition. I'm just going to change my angle here so that I can see what's happening. She is walking away from us. So I'm just going to let her get a little bit further because her baby is separate from her for now. The trick. One day we're going to get a shot with this side mirror with an elephant in it. That's because it's it's fantastically says object in the mirror may be closer than they appear, which is a comforting thought when you're using it to look for elephants. Okay, there we go. She's turned around. Them through there, Jandre. Perfect. Let's stop and have a quick look at them snacking on the spike thorn thicket. Not very appetizing. I saw the buffalo feeding on the weeping wattle. Spike thorns like silver cluster leaves, incredibly high in tannin content, which means they taste very astringent and they will suck away all of your saliva if you munch on them with a hu as a human being. Great for upset stomachs, not so much for the taste that they leave in your mouth. It's my pom pom getting in the way there. <laughs> 
trying to duck it out of the way. It's very tricky when you can't. I'm not used to the angles. Now it's in the way. My apologies. <laughs> I can't escape Chandra. There we go. An elephant deciding that it's tired of the spike thorn diet. Time to move on and see what else it can find. I'm keeping an eye out for our little one. I, can't, I want to show you another view of Benjamin Button. Definitely by one of the cutest baby elephants I have ever seen. And since our ellies are a bit obscured here, let's try for one more view. Such a... Oh! You get a bed stick. <laughs> Shamsun, yes, it could bother the Ellie slightly. Oh, what is that little one doing? Can you see it there, Jandre? <laughs> little bit of curiosity there. Exploring its new world. And trunk not quite coordinated enough to fully master it. Might actually be eating mom's um, dung as well, which they do do for the antibodies and the bacteria that it will need in the future. So they, baby elephants do occasionally eat their mother's dung. Oh, that's cute. So Shamsun, just a. I don't think it's me that smells like lion urine. I hope. Uh, we'll find out when I actually get off. My, I think Maggie took the brunt of it. Might be all over Maggie's side mirror. Yes, it could potentially bother the elephants if it was an unexpected smell. But as I said, the whole area at the moment smells like lion. It doesn't appear to be bothering them at all. But we are very, very cautious of our impact in those sorts of ways. Or if the elephants are showing us any sign of unhappiness, then immediately we would have moved away. But she is quite comfortable with us. And her little wrinkly baby which is just too cute. It's like its skin is two sizes too big for it. <laughs> Aqua. Well done, by the way, Aqua. Bravo on the name Benji. Our Benjamin Button Elephant. I think that is a brilliant name. Aqua, it would be wonderful to watch Benji grow up and fill out his wrinkles. Which he would, of course, do, but I completely, completely agree with you. I'd love to know what caused it. He looks like he's inherited a second-hand skin. Like, he, like he's got an older cousin, and it's just been a hand-me-down. It really is too sweet, but I agree. And the joys of Safari Live is that we might be able to identify. I don't know how quickly those wrinkles are going to disappear, or how easy he's going to be in future. So why don't we have a look at Mom? Because he's going to be with Mom, very close with Mom, for at least the next three years of his life. But let's have a look at her identifying features, so that we know in future when we are looking at Benji, the little wrinkly elephant. It sounds like the title to a children's book, doesn't it? So she's got a little nick flap on the outside of her ear. Oh, crunch. That's about her only identifying feature on that ear that we can see at this perspective, or from this angle. She's got two relatively uniform tusks. One right, one slightly pointier, but that always changes because they break. So the outline of the ear is one of the best ways of a sort of an on-spec identification of an elephant because those nicks and cuts and imperfections will remain that way for the rest of their lives. And the car's about to rock a little bit. It's not Jandre's fault. His camera work is perf perfect as always. I'm taking my foot off the brake, which I should have done ages ago. Oh. Well, that was, um... <laughs> yes, that was very dramatic. I thought we were going to roll back further. And she's currently enjoying an entire... And that is a root that she's just pulled out there. She's dug up and pulled out a root system of what looks like it was a monkey thorn or something similar. And she is now crunching her way through it. So not even as they do with a stick or a piece of, of trunk. Not aiming for the cambium layer of the bark. She's crunching the, the root, the entire root, because it contains, as you know, root is a storage system for a plant. So it contains a great deal of nutrients as well as water. And nitrates, 
because as herbivores they do need to supplement their protein intake. And the nitrates in the rhizomes of the various plants, particularly acacias and their relatives, provide them with the protein or the nitrates that proteins would other provide, otherwise provide in meat eaters and carnivores or omnivores. Her little one, <laughs> Benji, is just being the cutest thing that ever walked the face of the planet. I know we were discussing lion cubs and that they are cuter than anything else. I'm pretty sure that because we're currently looking at him, Benji might win that title. But he doesn't want to be looked at anymore. He wants to do yoga behind mom, which is fair enough. Do some morning stretches. Do some trunk coordination learning. <laughs> We've all got different impressions of what our little baby elephant looks like. And Maurice says that it looks as though she left the baby in the bath for too long. It's gone all pruney, like our fingers and our toes do. <laughs> I think that's a brilliant comparison. Mommy, how did you get your baby so wrinkly? What? What on earth caused that? Oh, leaning down. Imitating mom. And Shamsun, no, I don't think his wrinkles are from dehydration, although I can see what you mean. It might have been a little bit of concern. But no, she seems to be, just looking at her a little bit, she seems to be lactating. I don't think it's from dehydration. I think this, and I, if, a, if a baby elephant was dehydrated to the extent that it's, his skin was wrinkling, it certainly wouldn't have the same degree of energy that our little one is displaying at the moment. So I don't think we need to be worried, although that was a good point, it was a good, a good suggestion, because baby elephants in this time of drought might be struggling if their mom's not producing enough milk, particularly a young mom, as ours is here. But at the moment, you can see that curiosity attempting to learn how to pull up grass stems with its trunk. This bizarre protrusion on the end of its face that it has to come, that he has to come to grips with and learn how to use. And at the moment, that is occupying his, his current fixation, is that blade of grass that's there. Oh, she's nearly eaten, while we've been looking at her gorgeous baby, she's nearly eaten that entire root crunching her way through it. Oops, I'm tired of that now. You dropped it, girl. It's there. This little one wobbles its way around underneath Mom's tummy and attempts to kick up whatever it can find and then pick it up with its trunk. It isn't going terribly well at the moment. Kathy, our little one here, <laughs> once he stopped sucking his trunk for comfort. Oh, there's Mommy. Come on, Mommy. Let Benji have a drink. Our little one will start eating solid food at around six months of age is when you start to see them prop... Oh, Mommy. Come on. Eat your little one. You know, I said she looked like she was lactating. She actually doesn't look like she was, she's lactating that much. The mammaries don't look as large as they might otherwise. In a, but it might just be because she's young. It might just be because she's young and small. She is letting the little one try and feed now, but she's just distracted by the roots. For Kathy, six months of age is the age at which they start to properly supplement. They will put other things in their mouths before that and occasionally chew and swallow them, kind of like toddlers and any object that you don't want them to put in their mouth and chew and swallow. Baby elephants are much the same and they often watch mom or older cousins or siblings to attempt to... Here we go. Here we go, little one. Round you go. There we are. Except mom won't really keep still because mom's hungry. <laughs> She's decided that she wants food first. As the poor little Benji attempts to latch on at the same time and dodge the, the kicking feet. 
And then water, well we've seen them drink water at about three or four months of age, they'll start to drink that. But mostly they will be entirely reliant upon their mother's milk and she will lactate for up to three years after giving birth. And then, then comes the full-on process of weaning, which is not something that's appreciated by little baby elephants, nor in fact baby hyenas, which we were talking about earlier. And they start to have proper full-on weaning tantrums, where they scream at their mothers. And a lot of the vocalizations that we hear come from screaming baby elephants being told they can't drink milk anymore. She is definitely thoroughly focused on something in here. She's trying to kick away the trees so she can get to the root system. Using a combination, mainly she's using her feet to dig, which is why poor Benji can't get in, get in to have a drink. Oh. And he's not winning at all because she really, really wants whatever's underneath here. But once she's finished with this, then she will allow him to suckle. It's just because she needs her front legs. Elephants, apart from primates, are the only animals out here with pectoral nipples, pectoral, pectoral mammary glands. It's making that tricky. Benjamin? I'll, our little... No, not Benjamin. Sorry. Benjamin's the elephant. Don. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, I got distracted by the elephant. <laughs> Don, not Benjamin. Don would like to know how much I think Benjamin weighs. Uh, I'd say he would top out the scale at around... Even though he looks so incredibly tiny, probably around close to 200 pounds, if not a little bit more. Uh, he's very, very young still. And it's not a big elephant calf, but it, they're usually born just under or around 100 kilograms, so close to 200, 220 pounds. So Benjamin will be a little bit bigger than that. So although he looks tiny, I suppose everything looks tiny in comparison to a couple of tons worth of mom. Ah, oh, there we go. Well done, mom. I mentioned that she is quite a young mother. This is, could well be her first calf. Although I, I'm starting to think perhaps second, because she has had a young elephant hanging out with her the entire time that we've been here. And the, the elephants do maintain their bond with their offspring. Hello. Oh, little one. That wasn't a very big drink, was it? It was not a very big drink. No. Oh, watch out. Watch out, that's a dangerous spot to be in. <laughs> Divina, you wanted to know... I've forgotten what you wanted to know. I've got completely distracted by the elephant car and by the approaching vehicle. Sorry. Oh, that's what we were talking about. That's why we were talking about why the mom is young. Uh, you wanted to know what age they have start to have babies. And, oh, oh, she's given up on the, the idea of digging. She's now going to push the tree over entirely, or is thinking about it. They were, at their earliest, they reach sexual maturity at around 12 or so. And they usually, they can have their first calf that young, about 12, 13. That's when puberty hits, or sexual maturity hits. It often takes a little bit longer for them to go into a true estrus and to be fully fertile and to give birth. Between 12 to 15 years of age is usually when a female has her first offspring. Uh, our young elephant cow that's digging away here, this is, she's probably under 20 years old. Oh, being a bit protective of her little one, chasing the other slightly older elephant away. But she is absolutely determined to get to the root system of this tree. And what we're watching in a way is quite sad because there's a certain level of desperation for the elephants. They've got to spend this amount of time and put this amount of focus into searching for the nutrition that they need. Hello Benji. You cute. 
can't quite understand why mom is so focused. <laughs> you really are just the sweetest little thing. Oh! She's kicking away at the roots and at the same time trying... Benji's getting in the way a little bit of her intently focused work, but she's finally, finally... Oh, ouch! That looked sore. It snapped sooner than she expected it to. She's finally managed to pull some of the root system free. Little Benji investigating exactly what mom is having a look at. And guys, as you know, we do have um, small issues with the backpack and the batteries. What that means is that Jeanre needs to do a battery change at some point soon. So what we're going to do is, because we're going to disappear off your screens for a while, we're going to stay with our elephants, we're going to send you over to Brent, and we 